Hey guys, it's your boy Runestone here, back for another commentary video. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Foxy the Fox 110's 3 videos on me for by doing a special triple commentary to the great idea. Now let's jump right in and what all is thus about. What's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox 110. And welcome to Foxy Responds. Season 2, episode 96. And this Foxy response is going to be on Moonstone's commentary on Blue Crystal. Now anyways, before we get started, I just want to say, don't attack this user or witch. Huh, you mean thing anyways, let's get started. Honestly, I kind of wanna to give this guy some cuteness for actually replying to the commentary I made on the Panther Lover. I know it isn't easy to go, though all the heat, but I'm gonna say that he's stronger than that. Either way, let's get right into the video. Welcome back. As long as I stay here, just don't give it up now! Wow, what a great way to start this commentary by interrupting my introduction. I mean, just follow your own advice and do to think about it. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the 10th episode of TPL Response Season 5. Today is April 17th, 2024. And before we start, I just want to let you know that tomorrow, which is April 18th, is going to be my final response for April 2024. So this means... One more episode left for April 2024. So anyways, for today's response episode, this is going to be a response to Moonstone, the YouTuber guy hashtag save Leah's commentary on my response on his commentary on Blue Crystal to K6's commentary on his commentary on my response on his commentary on my exposing video on the worldwide of Happy Meal. And in this video, I am portraying as my favorite DC character, Holly Quinn in Galaxy Variant. So, without further ado, let us now begin this response. Off we go. What up, gang? Don't really much to say here, so let's begin. Hello there, my friends, and welcome to the seventh episode of mm -hmm. TPL Response Season 5. Today is April 14th, 2024. Well, right now, it is April 17th, 2024. And for today's response episode... This is going to be a response to Moonstone, the YouTuber guy, hashtag save Leah's commentary on Window Perez, aka Chubby as a nickname. Commentary on his commentary on my response on his commentary on my exposing video out of the worldwide of Happy Meal, my number one most hated user of all time next to DG Kitty. And in this video, I am portraying as another gorgeous woman in this cool galaxy fading color variant. So without further ado, let us now begin this response. Off we go. After I made a commentary on the Panther Lover's commentary on my commentary on his call-out video on the worldwide of Happy Meal, I checked out Liam Raffer's channel and he decides to do a response to my commentary on the Panther Lover. Well, let's get this commentary started, everyone. I have to defending the Panther Lover from Moonstone. Somehow, my response on the Panther Lover got his attention to do a commentary on me. He's basically just ignore the intense amount of criticism that I gave him. Anyways... Today's commentary is shining on the Panther Lover's newest response to my commentary on his exposal video. Now, I'm now ready with the video. Oh my god, the worldwide of Happy Meal. First you called my old username stupid. Then, you called my previous username horrible and now you called my new username stupid too. So what do you think about it, dude? Because it's a dumb name, what you change your username? Well, sir, the way that he called my new username stupid was just so very rude. If he didn't like my new username, then he should have just simply ignored it. Well, still, the fact that the worldwide of Happy Meal called your username stupid is just a good reason to do. Not gonna lie. Because people can insulting your username whatever we want, dude. You can't do that, you're deep shit. Then tell me, what exactly I can't even effort to insulting the Panther Lover's username, you dumb fuck. Well, sir, whenever people insult someone's new username, then that means that they are being very rude to their username. 
Okay, and this is what's supposed to be irrational about the insulting your username was pretty rude like a complete dumbass. Seems to be that we're managed to hit by the rock like realizing that I didn't even effort to insulting your username like a complete idiot. I don't know what you're talking about. So better next time, mind your own business and ignore the people insulting your username like a complete three-year-old, because nobody wants to hear for your exposal video out of your number one enemy. So... It would be much better if they would just ignore their new username instead of being rude or insultingly mean to them. Instead of calling it negative names. But no, he didn't even bother ignoring it. I thankfully hope he will just ignore my new username. Changes from now on. Yeah, but nobody said you couldn't change your username, obviously. Do I have to repeat myself for the third time? I can change my username whenever the freaking... Fred, I want to. It's clearly of the society that it's good to change your username, but nobody said you couldn't change your username. Like, if you wanted to, buddy. The thing is that you're mad over people insulting your username over the littlest things. Well, for the people who don't like my new username, they can simply just ignore it, instead of just saying negative names about my new username. Okay, and what's exactly the fact that we're gonna ignoring your username for now on? So what? Bitch, you don't because you said the R word. I don't for what? Because I said the R word? Bro, why do you even care if I said the R word for a reason? Because you don't have no respect for the response whatsoever. So better next time, focus your anger something else, dude. And don't you dare say to me that I am not allowed to change my username. Because I am allowed to do that. Excuse me. And you better not do a call out video on this. Or else I will do a response on it as a double response in season 3 episode 10 in March 2, 2024. That's a current day. Threatening to respond back to whoever does a commentary to your call out video doesn't matter dude. It was just a show how the exactly do the call out video on you back. Don't correct me if you run. Well, what I said there was not even threatening. I was just telling them what would happen if they do a commentary on my exposing video on them. You do realize it's a threatening. No, it is not, you asshole. Then why did he realize that on his call-out video just because it's a threatening as possible? I mean, he said that just it's a threatening you know. Dude, Chubby is being absolute right. What I was saying to the stupid Happy Meal fanboy was not threatening. Brother, what the hell did you mean right? About the fact that forcing someone to respond back is not threatening because of how you are both being such a influencers? I mean, sure, it doesn't mean that this Oswaldo guy is right about it just to get away for that. Well, still, Chubby was saying the truth about that thing I said to the worldwide of Happy Meal not counting as threatening. All I was doing was telling the worldwide of Happy Meal what would happen if he does a call up video on my exposing video on him. That was definitely all. Well, I was telling out the obvious that forcing someone to respond back is a threatening or not. That was even threatening. No. And honestly, just because you said to your number one enemy that it would happen if he does a response or the call out video on you back does not mean that this is Waldo guy speaking the truth about the bullshit and realizing it's not threatening as like a complete dumbass. So, if it wasn't a threatening then, why did you being angry over I'm speaking the truth about the entire planet as well as the is Waldo but- Is it me being angry? I guess not, but still. You heard that Leah just bash my opinion on Paka. Dude, I like Paka. I will never hate Paka ever and also the panther lover is got it a point. And don't forget, Leah is just a fake being upset. Thank God I made Leah crying. All because she forced me to hate Paka which is I like Paka. Sometimes I use that clip from show I like. So yeah, this is why Leah is a opinion basher and she become Paka hate brat. Okay, what the hell are you even talking about? Well, he was talking about Leah. Um, yeah, that's not how physics works. It just makes it look like the Oswaldo guy is never talking to me anyway. So I get it that he's talking to Lee. Letting him know what would happen if he does a call out video on me. And that doesn't count as threatening. That was all. End of the exposing video. I do not want to do this end it here, but still. All right, everyone.
This is the end of the 11th episode of this current response series. Thank you all for watching. Until then, over and out. See you later, folks, and have enjoy your night, everyone. You're going to pay for this moonstone. How am I going to be paying for it for what? Just because I did a commentary on your precious boyfriend, the panther lover? Dude, first of all, Chubby is not a girl, and second of all, he is not my boyfriend, even though I am not a girl either. You know it's pretty funny how you are called yourself out of not being a girl when I didn't even said that. I mean, you are just admitted that you failed the mistaken like a child all the time whenever this Oswaldo guy doesn't even know how did I even pay for it for what. And it's okay, if your brain cells died, I totally understand that. How much you talking about? Well I was telling out that you failed the mistaken, just because I never lied about the Oswaldo guy's gender on my commentary on him. It seems to me that you never heard of my respond and decide to put on the clip example of I don't why are you talking about? I mean sure we are agreed with that. Of course you didn't even agree with my response unfortunately. I mean, I was talking about that the panther lover was failed the mistaken all just because I never said I was lied about the Oswaldo guy's gender. That's completely all. today's commentary on Liam Rapper's commentary on me. Hope you enjoy your day for the 2024, and see you guys in the next video. Okay everyone, this is the end of this response. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you let me know. Alright, I shall see you all next time in my next response video, starting tomorrow, farewell. Okay everyone, this is the end of this response. If you enjoyed this response, then please make sure you let me know in the comments. Now remember, tomorrow, which is April 18th, is going to be my final response for April 2024, which is on Season 5, Episode 11. All right? I shall see you all next time in my final response for April 2020 for starting tomorrow. Farewell. Well, let's hope that it... Okay. No, 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 no! Hell no! No. Anyways, that's the end of the Foxy response. And hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll uh, see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox, one in ten, out. Alright guys, I guess that's it for the first commentary. Let's move on to the next video. Off we go. What's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox. 110, the WWL fan. And welcome to Foxy Responds, Season 2, Episode 89. And this Foxy Response is going to be on Moonstone's commentary on me. Now anyways, before we get started, I just want to say, don't attack this user or witch. Huh, you mean anything? Anyways, let's get started. What's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox, 110. And welcome to Foxy Responds, Season 2, Episode 78. And this Foxy Response is going to be on Moonstone's commentary on me. Now anyways, before we get started, I just want to say, don't attack this user or witch, hunt him anything anyways, let's get started.
to it where I can use the game recorder to show it. That'd be easier. But anyways, now let's be, I mean, now let's get going through that. Alright. It's basically a mistake that I was talking about. Basically, I was saying, was it okay? I understand that. Just basically, that was a mistake on my part. And I didn't realize that. Just said that you know on your side of the story video. Spy, just because he. Then it's like the same. Please make up lies about me, basically. Sometimes. It's basically. The truth about. Like you. Never. Every single. Since. Bleed idiot. This low. Girl. Don't like it. Goes around with not making it earlier. That you know on your side. So just leave it here. So you were speaking the truth about. Yeah, yeah, I am speaking the truth. So you were just said that you know on your side of the story video. Is why just because he was always lying to you. Your argument doesn't make any sense at this period once. Why should this spy consider to speaking lies when you did the same to come with my buddies revolving of my channel respectfully? Um, I never even spoke lies. 
Well, it's quite obvious that this is just stupid. Uh, How? The fact that you didn't even spoke lies about your side of the story video, that's it. I mean, you just said that, because it doesn't matter if we didn't even spoke lies or you did spoke it. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure if you were didn't spoke lies, but still doesn't mean it. Well, the thing is, I'm speaking the truth. I mean, I never lied about... Ma'am, don't even lie, dude. Maybe that's why she said, because no matter, it doesn't mean it's it's lies. to me obviously well I actually am sorry and my apology is 100% real and 0% fake well I get it that your apology is 100% real and 0% fake but I still don't believe you while you're being sorry at this point just because you made a brutal mistake doesn't mean you have to say sorry to me when I don't believe you're sorry at all so I don't get it but you are only saying that to your fans, because you don't want to be exposed for your arguments and stupidity. I'm actually apologizing to them, because I actually am sorry. She is a classic case of just saying what other can do about that and want to hear, but don't actually mean it. I actually do mean it. They actually do mean my apology. I actually am sorry. Well, still, like I said, I don't believe you're sorry at this point. Well, that... Well, that doesn't change the fact that I actually am sorry. Then actually mean it, buddy. You're basically assuming things that are not true. You're basically assuming that I'm not actually sorry when that's not true because I actually am sorry. Anyways. Sure, buddy. And honestly, real life. Was actually the truth, dude. Is it obvious you were not going to tell me why did you accidentally laugh at the sexual assault out of Jalia? I explained it in the video. Well, I was telling you why it's going on at the time with your mistakes. And I don't think it counts as telling us why. Well. I w well, I will explain it again, and. So basically. I didn't read the community tab post that was on correctly. Because if I did read it correctly, I wouldn't have laughed at it. Yeah, 
but it doesn't change the fact that you're actually laughed at the sexual assault, and always you're being sorry. Sorry about that, he'll go back take my phone. And, and I'm not calling anybody stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm not calling anybody stupid or anything. I'm just saying. That me be, I, mean, I mean, I'm just saying that me being called a pedophile over a mistake is stupid. Sorry about that, messed up in my words. Anyways, on to the next and final thing I'm going to be talking about. Which is this right here. I did not ship them together. I mean, I did not ship Colin and Tricot together. But in the strange it, why did you say there when these guys are shown why they exactly proves you're a pedophile, honestly? I'm not a pedophile. Then tell me what's exactly you're not a pedophile like you said. I'm not a pedophile because making a, making a mistake doesn't make me a pedophile. I don't even understand you very well. I was talking about if they were both adults. So therefore... Wait, never mind, you were talking about that. But, I mean, that mistake that I made by shipping them together... I mean, not, I mean, they made, I mean, not shipping them together, I mean, the mistake that I made where I ship... Where I, I mean, not ship, I mean, where I, I ship... Where, I mean, sorry about that, keep on messing up in my words. I mean, where I said I would ship them together if they were both adults. That, that does not make me pair file. Because I went from, from my mistake. I'm not shipping them together. I don't really see why you did it or you did say that what you said. It's actually stupid because you said that you didn't even ship Colin and Trigger with together when yet how you said that. Well, I was talking about if they were both adults. Therefore, it's not shipping. As you can see, I was talking about if he will put the dogs. But I now realized I shouldn't have done that, even though it's not shipping. So I apologize for that. Even though it's still not shipping. But still, I still should have said that, and I apologize.
bem para ideias. Caminha bem para isso. Com o vídeo em response para o Ones. Ou a commentary. Ou a Captain Lusting video. Whatever. Captain Tepper video. You're playing on doing this. Just to let you know, I'm definitely going to be planning on going to be doing. I'm definitely going to be doing a response video on you. Because I'm not going to let people lie about me and get away with it. Foxy the Fox, one in ten, out. Now anyways, that's the end of the Foxy Sports, and hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox, one in ten, out. Alright, that settles it for the commentary on Foxy the Fox 110's commentary on my commentary on her commentary on my commentary on her side of the story video. Anyways, time to move on to the last video. So, without any further ado, let's dive into this response. What's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox 110, the WWL fan. And welcome to... Foxy Responds Season 2 Episode 27 And this Foxy Response is going to be on Moonstone's content review on the pan forever Now anyways, before we get started, I just want to say Don't attack this user or witch Huh, you mean thing? Anyways, let's get started. St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Moonstone is here for the content review since a couple of months. And shall we start off for today's content review? It's shining on the pan for lover. And note, since he's gonna change his PFP until St. Patrick's Day mm -hmm. is over, so I'm already in it for that. Anyways, let's get started. Okay. So, his videos are always seem some incredibly lazy, cause some of the videos are always seem low quality with no effort put into them at the moment. How? And plus, that's an opinion and not a reason to hate someone. They're basically just him recording himself talking with you each of parts that do not else that would make them entertaining to watch with no editing cuts and etc whatsoever. They are just bland and boring for anything is not entertained. Here's the- Well, some people, like me, find his videos to be entertaining. Well, I can understand with your opinion on him, but you still suck otherwise. And fully reasons on how he sucks as a commentator guy. The only reason on he defends his user's actions that he likes is that he defends Foxy the Fox 110 like crazy. Well, he doesn't praise me. Some of them videos are just He's just defend he's just been a good friend by defending me. Talking some stories wherever he starts a commentary with the introduction. I mean, look at his responses of him just talking some stories randomly. The reason on why he's a hypocrite is that he claims that I used opinion bashing in the wrong context and Lee using slandering in the wrong context, yet he does the same thing. He says that he handled- No, he doesn't. Plus, he doesn't think that- 
forcing someone to handle children is opinion forcing anymore. Opinions. Get he used he. I suggest you should cut ties with him slash her turn on his rant on Jay and Shadow. Why well, just you need to be as a using it as a bite? Which this term is an opinion bashing. He claims that he is not a white knight out of Foxy the well, Fox it, one. Well it depends who you use it on and how you use it. If his opinion bashing or not. Ten. Yet his responses are completely just stupidly making response videos out of the people who hate Smur. Well, he just defended me. That does not make him a white knight out of me. And he claimed, claims that he is not a white knight out of Foxy the Fox 110. Yet his responses are completely just stupidly making response videos out of the people who hate Smur. And also, he just responds videos. And other videos as well, besides videos of me. He claims that he is not a white knight out of her, when it actually is. Wait, well, not a white knight out of me. On a lie. And he even claims that Frankie Kun can't handle the truth, yet he can't handle the truth about his response videos. And that's all the reasons on why the Panther Lover is sucks as a content creator. Anyways, I've selected the 10 videos of his commentaries out of my buddies. Which are his commentary on Emerald's commentary on his commentary on Joshua's rant on him, his commentary on JG's rant on him, his commentary on Lee the Awesome Teen Woman 2K6's rant on Foxy the Fox 110, his commentary on JG's nonable commentary, his commentary on JG's commentary on his rant on him, his commentary on Jonathan Media Shack's reasons on why he sucks, his commentary on JG's deckable commentary, his commentary on Phoenix Knight's commentary. On Foxy's triple response, his commentary on Tokyo the YouTuber 2K6's commentary. On Red the Gadget Gibbs commentary on his commentary on his commentary on his rant on YouTube. And last, his double commentary. Also, we're not the only ones here, because I've also brought three special guests to introduce my content review on the Panther Lover. Here they are. So guys, please proceed to the introduce yourselves, if you don't mind. Hey gentlemen, my name's Blue. It's a pleasure to be here in this content review. Special thanks- Oops, you don't mean to do that. So guys, please I'm proceed to the introduce yourselves, you if you don't mind. Hey gentlemen, my name's Blue. It's a pleasure to be here in this content review. Sorry about that. Special thanks to Moonstone for featuring me in this content review on the Panther Lover. Hello people, Leah the Awesome Teen Woman 2K6 here. It's so comfortable to be here in this content review on the Panther Lover at this point. In case if you didn't know me, I make response series that I make it out of the people and giving out criticism, thoughts about them, who making rants about their haters, making commentaries out of my videos and my buddies' commentaries, etc. And special thanks to Moonstone for featuring me in the content review. Hello everyone. My name's Adam. It is great to be here in this content review. In this point I make commentaries, YTP videos, geometry dash videos, etc. Expect of commentaries, I do some exploring gamma play about geometry dash about some recent tab and something. And of some commentaries, I make these series that instantly exposing the shit out of Foxy and the Panther Lovers bullshit arguments of my buddies, and giving out criticism thoughts about them. And special thanks to Moonstone for featuring me in this content review. You're welcome everyone. Anyways, so if we are introducing everyone, we are gonna do a content review now. Let's begin. Hello there everybody, and welcome to the 32nd episode of TPL Response Season 2. Today is February 13th, 2024, and before we start, I have two things to say. One, today is officially my brother's birthday. So, I'm going to wish him a happy birthday after he wakes up. And two, happy Pancake Tuesday, because today is Pancake Tuesday. Meaning that we are all going to be making pancakes for Pancake Tuesday. Also, for my brother's birthday, we are going to be having a slice of his Miss Molly's birthday chocolate cake. And I am pretty sure it is going to be very chocolatey and tasty. So anyways, for today's response episode, I am going to be doing a response to Emerald's response on my response on Joshua. The My Hero Academia and Tekken fans rant on Foxy the Fox 110. 
end in this video. I am portraying as Haley Steinfield in pink and white birthday variant, since today is my brother's birthday. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hello guys, I don't have anything to say, but I do have one thing which is two more response to go until the next season. Anyways, let's begin. Hey guys. Joshua the My Hero Academia and Tekken fan here. And I just y'all I already ended season 1 and started season 2 of my rant series, cause why y'all ask? Cause I already delayed the season 1 finale of rants due to a lot of drama and other horrible moments last year of 2023. And now, it's now 2024. So you don't care about a new month starting? Kid, you make tons of videos saying that it's a new month. But, if this what you want, then okay. Dude, I just didn't care of what Joshua said in his intro. That was all. That didn't mean that I didn't care if it was a new month shouldn't be talking when you don't care about the me that you didn't even respond to my videos wherever I did a response on you back. Well, there's probably other videos you want to do response on first. They're just my guess. Because it's quite obvious that you didn't care about what Joshua's new months about his rants series. So my first rant is going to be on Foxy the Fox 110. Before I start, to anyone who still supports her, I strongly suggest y'all don't you ever trust her due to a lot of crimes back in past. Joshua, what the hell? You literally just bashed people's opinions on Foxy the Fox 110. You should know that people can trust her whenever they want to, because it's their choice, and you cannot force them to don't trust her. That is just so wrong. Shame on you for doing that, dude. Shame on you. And shame on you for being a massive hypocrite. No, actually shame on you, and thus, you have no proof of how I am a hypocrite. Dude, he knows how you're a hypocrite because of that. Besides, shame on you back. For well, shame on you right back. And shame on you for being an average the panther lover fan being. Not trying to bash opinions, it's just an advice. Advice my ass. That was not advice. That was opinion bashing. And you are basically using the word and also, if he has poop in white, he doesn't explain what, what the poop is. Advice. As an excuse to bash peoples on Foxy the Fox 110. Actually, dude, it was an advice. No, the hell it wasn't. That was literally opinion bashing. And well, still, it's not opinion bashing at the time. Actually, Bash peoples on Foxy the Fox 110. Off. Actually, dude. It was an advice. No, the hell it wasn't. That was literally opinion bashing. Oops, well, get, still, get me to go backwards. It's not opinion bashing at the time. And imagine using opinion bashing as an excuse just as advice. Thus, he's not even using opinion bashing as an as an excuse. Imagine using the word advice as an excuse. So. As my mother would say, shove your advice up your pipe and smoke it. Wow, your mom's so funny she can be in the circus. Really? Why? Are you so angry about Emerald roasting your mother? How sad. He wasn't even angry. I don't know what you're talking about. Now! Yes! <laughs> but anyway, enjoy. Foxy the Fox 110 is got to be one of the most big time annoying idiots on YouTube next to the cool guy Mario Yes Cat Mario No and the Panther Lover. I'll tell you the valid reasons why I hate her. I hardly doubt that they are going to be valid reasons. I bet you that there are going to be some poor and lame inexcusable reasons on why you hate her. 1. She's a big time criminal supporter. Dude, first of all, criminal supporter is not a real term. And second of all, she is not a criminal because she hasn't committed any crimes in real life, and neither did I. For example, she supports Wilson Perez back in 2022. Wow. wow, dude. 
Just freaking wow. You have brought up her past. You should hear I know that she has already lost interest on Wilson Perez sometime two years ago, which was 2022. And we all should know that Wilson Perez shall never be forgiven at any cost. I'm pretty sure she supported her though in the past. Well, first of all, Wilson Perez is a male, not a female. Even though I hate Wilson Perez. And second of all, Foxy the Fox 110 doesn't support Wilson Perez anymore because back when she supported him last year, she didn't realize it until a few people on Discord have realized it. So you're trying to bribe people to like Foxy again? No, nope, he's not. This can't be happening at all, dude. And she already learned her lesson, and she promised that she wouldn't do it ever again. Two. Speaking of number one, she's a white knight out of the panther lover Walking Dead and Aiden Productions. Dude, just because she likes me, doesn't mean that she is a white knight of me. Me and her are just great friends on YouTube. So you're basically using the word white knight in the wrong context. And plus, I am going to skip this next reason and move on to the fourth invalid reason. And fourth, she said CP should be forgiven when it's not. CP is the big time felony crime, and CP and Pedo are never ever be for- I'm just going to skip that part because he keeps on repeating the same lame excusable part. I nah, I bet you only skip that part because you know that I'm right. It's not because you're right, you idiot. Well, he is actually right. It's so obvious that you're wrong, basically. He's not wrong, he's actually right. She's a furry. That's all the reasons I hate her. But anyways, end of rant. Wow, this rant of his sucked massive time, because he used that didn't trust this user term, which proves that he bashed people's opinions on Foxy with Fox 110, which he should know that people can trust Foxy if they want to, because it is their choice. So anyway, that is trend of today's response video. If you have any more response requests, please comment them down below. Anyways, see you all next time. Farewell, and peace out. See you later, guys. And enjoy your night. All right, everyone. This is the end of the 32nd episode of TPL Responds Season 2. Thank you all for watching. Until then, over and out. Anyways. Well, to be honest, I didn't know that it was multiple parts. I thought it was just one part. My bad. No, anyways, that's the end of the Fox response. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Foxy the Fox, 110, out. Well, that's being said, folks. That's bringing up for today's special triple commentary on Foxy. Therefore, hope you farewell, guys. Enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next commentary.